I wish I'd have had an interpreter. Pete Rose reacts to Shohei Otani gambling allegations. Shohei Otani just signed one of Major League Baseball's largest contracts ever and is now taking some heat. The Dodgers fired his longtime friend and interpreter after he allegedly stole $4.5 million from Otani to pay of gambling debts. Apparently, he placed wagers with an illegal sports book. The internet is going after Otani, saying he's the one betting. He's got to be using him as a fall guy. I mean, how does your interpreter have access to your $4.5 million? And he says that he didn't even notice it was gone. Just seems so weird to me. Former MLB player Pete Rose responded to the situation saying this. After I year enjoying some March Madness with my great friend Pete Rose, and uh, we just had a, we were talking about the current goings on in baseball right now, and Pete wanted to mention something. Well, back in the 70s and 80s, I wish I'd have had an interpreter. I'd be scot free. There you have it from the hit king. I think that it's hilarious that he's joking about it. Honestly, if nothing happens to Otani, put Pete Rose in the Hall of Fame. Only on Christ 17 TV, we got Otani, Pete Rose. Now let me tell you this. There's no way in the fucking world somebody can take 4.5 million away from you without you even noticing. That's the first lie. That's lie number one, baby. Lie number one on Christ 17 TV today. Number two. So you make your, your interpreter the fall guy. Okay, I get it. You're trying to save your own ass. But how does your interpreter have access to your bank account, first of all? Not even your agent. This is your interpreter. This ain't even your agent, okay? Now, should something happen to Otani? Absolutely fucking yes, okay? If you're going to not put Pete Rose in the Hall of Fame for all these years and you're going to let this shit slide right here, Pete Rose need to be in the next Hall of Fame. Next year round, this year round, whatever round's the next round, he needs to be in it. That's a fact. So... I guess since it's the Dodgers, and since he's got a fall guy, and since he's the highest paid player in the game, and pitches and hits, they're not going to do shit to him. What I think, he should be, he should be suspended the whole year and, and lose that pay for the whole year. I'm not saying ban him from baseball, but let me tell you this. When somebody take PEDs, they get a long suspension, almost a whole year, okay? So, what's worse, PEDs or gambling on the game? Let me see, has anybody been banned from PEDs for their first time? No. Has anybody been banned from gambling? Absolutely. They, they banned the hit king, Pete Rose, Charlie motherfucking hustle, man. And it's a shame that that man still ain't in the Hall of Fame. Now you got shit like this. You got this Shotani, Otani, you know what I'm saying? And he's, 4.5 million is way more than what Pete gambled. I'm going to tell you that right now. Pete ain't gambling no 4.5 million. They weren't even making that much dough way back then when he was the manager of the Cincinnati Reds, the Red Machine, Okay. Is this fair to Pete? Absolutely not. Why is it okay for this guy to bet? But when Pete did it, he's the worst guy in the world. But now, we're going to act like this interpreter guy got access to Otani's bank account. Bullshit. I call bullshit. Okay? You want to fall a guy like Tom Seaver? No, no fucking problem. Colt Seaver, I'm sorry, you want a fall guy like Colt Seaver. I was thinking about the old school Met Tom Seaver. You want a fall guy like Colt Seaver, all good, okay? But let's keep it a uh, hundred. He needs to be suspended for the whole year, at least. Maybe two years, I don't know, but that's a lot of bread to be betting. And who was he betting on? They ain't come out with the bets on who he was betting on yet. But I seem it really odd that you can ban this man for over 40 years and this guy's 
gambling four point five million right after he signs the biggest contract in sports history. Okay, in sports history, and he's on the L.A. Dodgers, and they want to see this Dodgers team win, win the World Series so bad. I'm sorry. What's fair is fair is fair. If you're gonna not suspend this guy or nothing happens to this kid, you gotta let Pete Rose in the Hall of Fame. Hands down, no questions. Next ballot up, Pete is on it and Pete is in. Cause I don't find this shit fair. Oh, because he's he's a pitcher, he's a hitter, they haven't seen nothing like that in the league since Babe Ruth, who gives a shit? If you gamble on the game, you gamble on the game. If you use PEDs, you use PEDs and they get suspended. So why not a gambler getting suspended? They made him fun. No, he's he's the fall guy. He's probably gonna give him ten million just for taking this case. Not not even like he going to jail, but just to take it. He loses his gig for interpreter. He's he's never gonna be allowed to interpret in the game again, guaranteed. So what do you think is fair? You think one year suspension, two year, a lifetime ban? I don't want to see the kid ban banned from the game, okay? Don't get me wrong. But what's fair is fair, and you you guys have been doing Pete Rose, the hit king, Charlie Hustle wrong for a long time, and you won't even let him get in the Hall of Fame. When what he did as a player has nothing to do with what he did as a manager. Okay, as a player, he was the man, absolutely unanimous first ballot Hall of Famer, absolutely. So now the kid comes, and he said, "Oh, my interpreter did it, and there's no come on, y'all gotta dig deep. Don't 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 be picking favoritisms." Okay, Pete Rose meant as much to the game as this young man do now, if not. Ten times more, okay? Okay? And that's a fact. In the All-Star game, Charlie Hustle ran over the catcher. In these All-Star games now, there ain't no hustle like that. He played the game the way he played the game, even when it was an All-Star game, and it didn't count for the record for his team. That's, what they, that's why they gave him the name Charlie Motherfucking Hustle. So with that being said, what's right is right, what's wrong is wrong. If you're not going to suspend this kid for at least one year for the first whole season, Pete Rose needs to be on this next ballot and be in the Hall of Fame because that's only fucking right. With that being said, hit that like, hit that subscribe. It won't cost you a dime. The Pete Rose, the hit king, greatest of all time, okay? Like I tell you every time, I'll catch you on the flip side, player. Come on, put Pete in the Hall of Fame.